What's going on, YDTG230 Nation? It's YDTG230, and I'm here with some segment two of RBCDL as the North Texas Mean Green. So, basically, we are 6-0. and oh. We were 80th, I believe, in the nation during segment one. Uh, the standings got a little altered because of all the late submissions and everything. Please fix that, by the way. Anyways, we have a four and a half star offense and a five star defense. We're looking pretty good. Pretty good. I'm not saying we're really good. Not like competing for a playoff spot or anything, but we're just trying to get a playoff berth, to be honest. Or bro, <coughs> full berth. I'm missing my words. Anyways, we got the lowly Cincinnati Bengals. If you guys know from Retro Bowl videos, you know, Head Face I used to play with these guys in this very first Retro Bowl couple of seasons. Anyways, so you got Dante Hicks getting a 61 yarder to start the game. I unfortunately cut the microphone off because, you know, stuff was happening, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm just doing this as an alternate voiceover. Dante Hicks again. We actually got the ball back as I did punt it. Yeah, Donnie Hughes is going to take this all the way again. And he makes one man miss in the end zone. And two point conversion. And it's good. So. They score a field goal after Ward Jr. Vollard missed tackles. There goes Dante again. 22 yard catch. I'm trying to score more points as the weeks go by. I'm not trying to hit my tight end that deep in the field because tight ends in this game are actually pretty slow. You know, if you had a high-speed tight end, that would be actually fine. But otherwise, never go to your tight end. Keyshawn Bethune, though, he is a red zone threat. If you get your tight end in red zone wide open, you're going to have a great time. Get in the end zone. Anyways, they go Keyshawn Bethune. Probably should not have. As he gets 30 yards. Go to him again. I don't know what I'm doing. To be quite honest with you. But he takes two men miss. And scores. With two minutes left in the second. Keyshawn gets a two point conversion. And we force a fumble. Price gets the fumble recovery. And I get it to my running back. I think there was one head coach that told me to give it to the running back. He is a four and a half star player. But, you know, running backs are not that usable. Like, unless you're doing a franchise and you're trying to make your team get a dynasty. It's best to get rid of your running back. But, I don't know, that's just, that's just my opinion. Anyways, Dante Hicks gets a touchdown. Huff got the touchdown earlier in a two-point conversion. I make it 48-3. to Ward Jr. makes the tackle. Really hoping to get in the end zone. There goes Dante again. Another touchdown. That's 32 points in the first half. That's Dante again for the two points. Nine seconds left in the second half. Or first, first half. Second quarter. And we get into the second half. Keyshawn Bethune, I don't know what I was doing there. I should not have hit the tight end that close to, or that far down the field. But he did get a 59 yard game, which is good. And there's an incomplete pass. I actually overthrew that. I threw it too far out of bounds. But Keyshawn Bethune is right there to get the touchdown anyway. Two points, Dante Hinks, I made a comeback to the ball, and he was able to grab it. Vollert sets the quarterback on fourth down, so we get the ball back, and Keyshawn Bassoon gets down to the 45-yard line. And then I try to test Keyshawn Bassoon off the tip into the end zone. Wow. I was going to add, like, a highlight montage. Of, like, 
all the highlights from these games, but I wasn't really interested in doing that. You know, first of all, downloading music, musical audio files for the music that I would like to do is going to be very complex. Like, if I can remember my if you film tech class skills, uh, I'd be able to do that, but actually not able to do it this time. Anyways, Dante Hicks scores a touchdown, 34 yards at the start of the fourth quarter. And I did not mean to do a bullet pass. That was totally accidental, but apparently it actually got me a two-point conversion. Anyways, the Bengals get their first touchdown of the game. Which I was not happy about. And I pass it to Huff. He's gone to the end zone. Like when you need to really fatigue your receiver. Like not really fatigue. But like to keep her from being so fatigued in the game that he gets hurt. There's always the running back. That's kind of why I usually use him. In those situations. I don't know why Dawson Higgs jumped there. Like that was that was straight to Keyshawn. But hey, whatever works, works. And Keyshawn Bethune gets a touchdown, 27 seconds left. 27 seconds left, and two-point conversion is good. And we get the win, 86-point differential. 96 to 10 was the score. And we get a upgrade for Dan Bortles. We're going to increase his speed. Seeing his decline slightly. Oh, boy. And... We're going to decrease the morale of Hester, who is currently injured right now. Game two of the segment against the Colts. And Dante Hicks. What can I say? Except touchdown. And there's the two-point conversion by Keyshawn Bassoon. We get the punt, forced the punt, rather. Dante Hicks, once again, he burned the corner so much. I don't know what's going on with him. 57 yards on that. I probably should have drew to the outside to get a better chance. But anyways, Keyshawn Bethune gets another touchdown. Well, that's his first, actually. <clears throat> and Huff gets the two points. And the Colts actually score late in the first. Keyshawn Bethune It's pretty open. I don't know why I didn't just go out of bounds and just try for another play. But anyways, Dante Hicks gets the ball again and he scores again. 32 yards. Too easy. Keyshawn Bethune. Gets the two point conversion, and we force a punt. And then we, this is how we start the second quarter. Curl flat, dump it underneath Dante. He goes out of bounds for a big game, just outside the thirty, or just inside the thirty, should I say? Dante Hicks gets a thirty-one yard catch for a touchdown. Two point conversion. Try not to talk so much, because this is a very long video. You know, because RBCDL is six weeks per segment. <sighs> that's that's uh, a little painful. Why did you have to do that to me? Why? Couldn't it be just a couple, couple more segments? Anyways, we get a touchdown on that play. I wasn't sure who that was. That might have been Dante. And Keisha Bethune gets the two points. And I just slowed down for absolutely no reason. Actually, my finger was on the thing. Like, my the finger that I didn't want to touch the screen with. And the Colts actually scored a touchdown. But they going for an extra point instead. And there goes Dante Hicks with a jumping catch at 20, for 23 yards. Just at the 30-yard line. There goes Huff. My running back. He goes out of bounds. Lorenzo Bledsoe. 
What's he gonna do here? Oh my, what a catch. That was Huff. I didn't think he would make that catch. 48 to 15 with 24 seconds left in the half. And an interception. And Dante Hayes just dove for it, but unfortunately he dove backwards. Wrong way, you fool. Anyways, Dante Hicks breaks the tackle, gets to the 30 yard line. 157 left to go in the third. That was a bullet pass. I did not mean to do that. Keyshawn Mathieu gets the catch. And another first down. There goes Keyshawn Mathieu again. He's gone. He's in the end zone. My oh my. And there goes Huff for the two points. 41-point lead. Follow me a great tackle, I believe that was. There goes Huff. Makes one guy miss. He's at the 10. He makes another guy miss at the 5. Touchdown. 64 yards. There goes Kishan Bassoon. To two points and the gold score. They had 22 points so far in this game. What is going on? What is going on with my defense? We definitely got to upgrade on defense. Yeah, he suggested that I draft through offense and go to free agency for defense. Try to get rid of the linebacker or defensive line. Oh, there's a forced fumble there. There's a touchdown for Huff. Anyways, he told me I should get rid of a D lineman or linebacker to get a defensive back. Defensive backs are, to be honest, the the, the best defenders in Rushable. But defensive linemen can be just effective, just as effective. It is 80 to 28. Dante Hinks scores the touchdown. 61 yards. Two point conversion is good. So we get a 60 point game. 60 point point differential. And unfortunately, Voller gets hurt. That is so unfortunate. Mason Sella going to get the stamina upgrade. So we got two guys hurt on defense. That is not good. That is not good at all. Week 10 against Buffalo. They are a tough team to go against. We'll just go right into it. Buffalo strikes right first. Right out of the gate. <clears throat> Here's Keyshawn Bethune getting the catch. Here's Dante Hinks. Made a huge play. Is he gone? Not quite. Five yard line. With a minute 40 left to go. Dante Hicks gets a touchdown. To answer right back to Buffalo's early score. And the Huff gets the two points. There's a field goal by Buffalo. That's good. You don't want them scoring touchdowns all game. There's a missed tackle by one of the Buffalo defenders. And another one. And he ultimately go out of bounds. Just to save clock. And I go to Keyshawn again. He's gone. Two point conversion. Keyshawn Bassoon. Mr. Reliable. For a tight end. I was about to go into Keyshawn Bassoon again. Getting to midfield. Let's all look in for Dante Hicks. And he gets him. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Jets. Yeah, I'm using the New York Jets for the main green. I don't really have the unlimited version right now. It would be awesome if I did. But anyways... Pins a butt so the throw. He got his receiver. Let's 
It's a two position game right now. Dante Hicks. Is he going to outrace everybody? Not quite. He steps out of bounds in the red zone. There it goes Huff for another touchdown. There's Huff again for the two points. And we get a pick. That was unexpected. And Dante Hicks takes advantage. And we get a touchdown. Two-point conversion is good. And we get the ball back. That's a good thing. We always want the ball back. And there's Keisha Bethune with the 21-yarder. And Huff. I don't think that was intended for him. But he got it anyway. He gets 21 yards. Don't click straight to a no-name receiver. Well, I just call him that just because he does, does that. Just does it has a name. Nine-yard gain first. And what in the world was Keyshawn Bethune doing? He just tipped in the air and got intercepted. And we get another interception. Here we see Bethune diving for the end zone. He gets the score. Keyshawn Bethune gets the two points. At least he made up for it. Anyways, Keisha Bethune trying to get away inside the 35. Dante Hicks again. Just running over people, jumping over. We hit him again and score. It's just the way we do things. Your mean green will strike very, very soon. Just believe. It might not be this season, but sooner rather than later, we're going to be striking. We're going to be firing on all cylinders left and right, up and down, northeast and northwest, southeast and southwest. I'm just making things up as I go. 89 yards. For, I believe that was Dante. There's Huff at the two points. Minute 13 left. And they scored the end of the game, of course. Of course. Of course people do. Team morale always comes first. Miami. BC Voller. You're injured and you're playing retro ball? I'll praise you. Anyways, Miami should be an easy game. Hopefully it will be. I don't know why Keisha Bethune even jump for that. 29 yard game. Second play now. And he jumped again. Like, come on, Keyshawn. I know you're supposed to be the star player of the team, but other people want the ball. You can't just be hogging it all game. You know what I mean? Anyways, oh, Dante Hicks couldn't get in the end zone. I'm a little frustrated by that. Huff gets in for the first points of the game. Two-point conversion is good. Incomplete pass. I just went slow just because I just wanted to see what happened. There goes Huff. And he's 27-yard gain while going out of bounds. There's Huff again. I was trying to get it to Dante, but he just snug in there. Dante Hayes gets the ball and scores in the red zone. Two points. It's Keyshawn Bassoon. 16 nothing, short of a first down. I should have hit him in a on an in route. I honestly should have. 
Yeah, I was going to get the right receiver, but they were sending it all on blitz. So I had to get it to the next closest target, Keyshawn. There goes Dante. But he gets tackled short in the end zone. So Keyshawn Bethune able to get in there. One second left in the first quarter. Two-point conversion. There's a punt by Miami. Oh, this should be light work. 12 yards. Oh, on the play. And there goes Dante's. He just burned that DB so bad. Is he... Is, is Eli Apple guarding him? Oh, wait, no. He's on the bings. <laughs> Must have been Eli Apple guarding him. Uh, when we just played them earlier. I don't know who that is, but... Could be Xavier Howard. But he used to be the... Guy with the most interceptions in the league. And that ball got hit. That was the most unlucky tip I've seen. They actually missed a field goal. So I'm so happy about that. And an 11-yard gain. That's not going to help. There's the AC. He breaks the tackle. Gets out of bounds inside the 40. Five seconds left inside the 20. And a hit, Dante Hicks. Burning the fender. And he gets the touchdown to end the first half. It's 40 nothing. Price with a huge sack to give us the ball in Miami territory. And Dante Hicks able to score a touchdown. Two-point conversion is good. Was that Price again? Who got the big sink on Ford down? Dude, that man be balling. I wouldn't be surprised if at least one of our players gets in the all-conference team. I would not be surprised. I would honestly be surprised if one of my players... Doesn't, well, none of my players get on there. I feel like my players are capable of being on the all conference team, not necessarily all American team. And I'm not aiming for that right now. I'm sure all my players want to, but you know, it's a long process. And you just got to get better, better every single step of the way. 64 nothing. 35 seconds left in the third, and we get an interception. This is just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing for Miami. Like they're getting beat down. Keyshawn Bethune in the red zone. There's Dante Hanks for the two points. Oh, Price, come on. And there's a fumble. There's a 12-yard gain. Oh, come on now. Shouldn't be getting tackled that quickly. There goes Dante. Once again. By the way, in season 31, one of my players actually got MVP. Keyshawn Bethune gets the two points. And just like that, it's 80 nothing with less than a minute to go. And I don't know what I was doing there. I think I shouldn't have just made a move. I shouldn't have made a move. I should have just kept going. 35-yard gain. I call timeout. 15-yard line. There is another catch by Keyshawn Bethune. And then a hand and off to Huff for the two yard score. It was basically one and a half yards, but the cannon is two. Speaking of two, Dr. Hicks gets the two point 
two point conversion. 88 to nothing. And we get an interception right back. I'm pretty tough for that game. Everybody played well. Dante Hicks is going to get a catching upgrade. Damn Bortles. Might as well get a speed upgrade. Kiko Ward Jr. is going to get me a coach credit. You know what you bored me? We're going to get that coach credit. You know what I mean? Last game of the segment is against Houston. This should be an easy one for our offense. And it shows as Dante Hicks scores. Two-point conversion is good. We get the ball back, and Dante Hinks just burns everybody. There's no catching him. Like, you can't catch him. In that situation, you can't catch him. When you're 12 yards away from the best receiver in in the game, well, according to my dreadful, <laughs> there's no catching him. Like, you can't catch him. Not sure why you jumped, but, hey. You broke away from two defenders. That defender, that safety ain't gonna catch you. You might as well get in the end zone. 74 yards. 52 seconds left in the first. If I can get this VD receiver in recruiting, that would be insane. Not sure what I was doing there. Like I was going for Dante, but I overthrew him. There goes Keyshawn Bassoon. Makes one guy miss all the way to the 10, and he's gone. 62 yards. Here's a two point conversion, and this is why there needs to be penalties in this game. There's literally no penalties. I don't know what to say, man. Anyways, Huff gets a touchdown to make up for that lone call by the officials. Okay, Sean Bethune gets the two points. And they score their first touchdown of the game. Okay, Sean Bethune. Once again, 20 seconds left. He's at the 20, and he's taken down inside the 15. We're in the red zone. First down. Come on. What's, what kind of question is that? Jumps up in the air, dives in the end zone with eight seconds left to go. And throw it to the no-star receiver. Two-point conversion. And we allow another touchdown. What well, Dante Hanks coming right back. It's 46 to 14. Make that 52 to 14. 65 yard touchdown. They get a 40 point game with the two points, and we do. And we are able to get the ball in Houston territory. Dante Hicks scores again. Two points is good for Dante Hicks. Not sure why I was going for a 10 in there. If I had a little longer and got Dante, he might have been gone. 41 yards, 62 to 14. Dante Hicks scores a touchdown. And he gets the two points as well. Blair missed a great tackle to get the ball. 
for us in the 27 yard at the 27 yard line. I ever throw the first pass. I don't want to throw Dante Hicks. And he scores. Missing overall, they sim him was pretty good. Sim him was pretty good. Haven't really seen much of the rest of the league, but I feel like they did a pretty good job as well. They might have done a little better than me. I must say. 86 to 14. There's 49 seconds left to go in the fourth. Dante Hinks. He's trying to get out of bounds. And he doesn't, but we do call timeout. And we find Huff for another touchdown. 80 point game, it is. 94 to 14. And Kiko Ward Jr. is out. I'm going to praise the player to increase his morale. He, Sean Bethune, gets a coach credit. A great strength for Price, strength for Hester. All right, so that was the end of the second segment. And we're going to be doing the next segment later.